Vegas, you've heard business news. You're back here on Hard Facts on 99.3 Nigeria Info. I want to bring you today's episode of The Glass Ceiling. Would you want your widowed mother to remarry? That's what we're talking about on The Glass Ceiling today. Remarriage for widows and widowers. It's a conversation we started on Monday. And when we started it, I told you not to worry. If you couldn't call in on Monday, you'll be able to call in on um, Wednesday, was it? Uh, if you didn't listen to the big hard fact on Monday, well, we talked about this and Lagos had a lot to say. It's a very controversial topic for a lot of people. And it's something that we all might face eventually. Maybe not all. A lot of us might face it eventually. Now, husbands are more likely to die before their wives. Right? So we have more marriages that end with a widow than we have marriages that end with a widower. So when the question of remarriage comes up, it's usually more about women than men. And even when it's about men, it's often not a big deal. Oh, his wife is dead. Ah, he should marry now. He should remarry now. Who will help him take care of the children? Ah, two years have passed already. What is he waiting for? But when it's the other way around, it often becomes, ha! It's only been 10 years since the husband died and already body they scratch out to remarry. Ordinary 10 years. <laughs> so, um, I want to talk about why the double standard exists. Why is it so rampant? Why do you, what do you think about this double standard? And like I said, we started this conversation on Monday and we had lots and lots and lots of calls. And the, the question was very simple. Would you allow your mama to remarry? Here's what Alex said. My name is Alex. I'm calling you from Victoria Island. Alex, would you want your widowed mother to remarry? Well, what is the man coming to do? If you say till death do us part, mm. if death has done them part, mm. my, that, that, for example, my father has gone. Mm. So what? what... Are they going to come together again? So who, are, who is coming back to do them on, on uh, uh, together? What is the man coming to do? My my mother should marry me and my other uh, uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, brothers. Okay. So I, I don't think there, I, I if by paraventure in mm. the future I get to that stage. Mm. You don't think she should my, remarry? My, my father passes on. My father but, but is one than one years old now. Why? Why? Uh-huh. Why? The, re- the reason for it? Mm. Uh, because I, I, me, as, mm. as a mature young man, too, I don't see essentially what the man is co- the man is coming to do. Okay. If my mother needs a co- needs, needs any company of anybody, mm-hmm. male or female, mm-hmm. can do that in the church. What she just needs to exchange life experiences, share experiences, and all that. She should is, do it. She, she should do it to, in the church. She's going to start copulating with with my mother at the age of uh, eighty or eighty five. Maybe so she's coming to do virtually nothing. Coming to feed me or come and take over and lord over the house that 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 he was not part of, I or see. he's coming to to live from where he did he didn't so either emotionally or financially or economically. I see. So that's not, he's not coming to do anything. So I, we we don't even have a need for it. My mother, my my own kind of mother, mm. is still alive. Mm-hmm. She doesn't even have friends. Okay. She doesn't. Oh. Yeah. All right. And then we got a call from Kane Day, and this is what Kane Day said. Yeah, my name is Kane. I'm calling from Kurudu. Yes, of course. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, um, uh, okay. Um, concerning what you've spoken about mm. today, um, mm. okay. So I had a friend of mine whose mother passed away when she was, uh, it was, uh, I was about, I think, seven or eight. Okay. And up till, I mean, the man died maybe two years ago. Mm. He didn't be married, and, um, you know, by himself, he raised two, you know, two young boys by himself. Mm. So mm. I personally believe that people should remarry. I personally believe it, no matter the age. I mean, are you going to marry your mom or your dad by yourself? I mean, they need companionship. They need all of those kind of things. But, but you heard Gabriel. Gabriel said, you know, all the companionship you need, I can give it to you. Alex said, if you need companionship, go to church. Get it from right. your church people. Complete nonsense. You need someone to hang out with at night, someone to go out with, someone to speak with, someone to, you know, take a walk with, someone that you can really share your feelings with. Mm. Are you going to share your feelings with church? Come on now. I be fully believe my parents are still alive, but even though they to die today mm. and they wanted to be married, mm. of course, I will give my blessing. Me, myself, if I find myself in such a situation, mm. well, I don't know for now, but if my, any of my parents are to die today, mm-hmm. I will gladly give my blessings. I mean, I cannot make up for companionship of a partner. Mm-hmm. It's not possible. It's not, it's just I cannot make up for companionship of a partner. Mm-hmm. Like, that's way, 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 way very important. So I fully believe that 
those kind of relationships should not people should not shame or ask women, shy women not to get married because their their um, husband died. I mean, come on, it's only in her late thirties. Are you trying to tell her not to marry? She was like that she died at ninety or something alone for fifty years. Wow. Thank <laughs> you, Frank. Thank you for calling me. And that, uh, th- those are two calls I find I found quite interesting. Now, there are two other calls as well that I'm going to be playing for you on the show just before I take your own thoughts on the show today. Uh, I got a call from Victoria. I also got a call from Victor. So you're going to hear from both of them, and then we'll talk. It is it's the glass ceiling on Hard Facts. Hard facts. This is the glass ceiling on hard facts. On Monday, I talked to you and I asked Victor, would you allow your mother to remarry? Hello, good evening, Sandra. Good evening. Would you support your mother remarrying? No. Tell me why. Already, my mom is a widow. Okay. And then, um... Um, back then, um, after my father died and he was buried, after like two years, mm. she stayed for two years. She gave a try. Uh, it didn't turn out good. It wasn't my, it was just friend dating. Turned out very violent. Turned out very problem. In plenty of problems. Mm. And then... You know, then we were still young, small. We could not retaliate. Okay. You know, what the man normally did to her. Mm. And then after another two years and a half, mm-hmm. she gave another try. At this point, I was already strong enough. You know, I was supporting her, you know, doing labor work to, you know, keep to my mother mm-hmm. going. Mm-hmm. And then this man, I, I was actually somewhere in Calabar. Mm. And then returning home, I saw that, you know, there is a man. Mm. And then, um, well, that is my mother's decision. And I'm, I have a discussion with that. Mm. He said he's a good man. Mm. He's very supportive. Mm. So along the line, mm-hmm. the same thing that happened to the first one started. Mm. Violent fight trouble. Mm-hmm. So at this point, I was strong enough to handle the man. Mm-hmm. So whenever I'm around, it would not start. But when I'm not around, it will start. So in fact, the relationship actually ended with me because I was the, the, the one day that the man, this man displayed this thing, you know, it was an open fight and I dealt with him. That was the end of the relationship. So, and since then, my mother decided. Not true. And I can tell you for over 16 years now, she's married to Jesus. <laughs> I'm telling you, she, when I heard other women saying you cannot say, and she's just 53. Hmm. She's married. She goes to our church. She goes to evangelism. She reads our Bible. She's hmm. excited. Whenever me and my brother travel home, she will hug us. She will take us like a husband. And that is how it should be. But you're not because her husband. Because if another man... But you're not her husband. She has certain if needs a, that you can't If meet. another man comes in, he will give up. This, this, is, this is the life experience I'm telling you. you I, 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 I understand. You, I, 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 understand I understand what you're saying, right? And I understand mm. that she's been unfortunate in finding uh, the right companion. She's been unfortunate enough to find people who continue to be There's her. no fortunate when it comes to that. Any man that will come to a woman that has already married and the husband died, mm. you know, that man is, is no... In fact, there is no fortunate. 
There is no fortunate. And the other guy was saying when the other man was saying the 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 wife, the mother get to church and he was saying nonsense. Mm. Ah, what you see? See, mm. it is easy for um, when a woman died, mm -hmm. man can easily get married. You know, even to a young lady and bring her and bring her to his home which he knows that this young lady will take care of her children. But it is almost, in fact, very unacceptable for a man to come and marry a woman, who, are, who are a widow woman who has children. Is it like this man doesn't see other women uh, outside? Victor there are so, there are Victor there are some second marriages where the husbands are good to their wives where the husbands take care of the children the you same way a new wife the children. I'm telling you the, the same, the same way the same, the same way you also many. have women who discriminate against the children of their husband who has been married before so that thing is down to the individual it's down to human character it's not about oh something is wrong with a man for wanting to marry a woman who has been married before. Before, had the children. other guy said, uh, Sandra, mm -hmm. Sandra, the mm -hmm. other guy said, what is the man coming to do? I was laughing. That is the question we should be asking. What is the man coming to do? Why are you discountenancing? You what what, what are, are you discounting? Why are you discountenancing your mother's needs, your mother's desires? She's, what if your mother wants fact, the companionship? She's perfect and she's very happy. How she do you know me. that? How do you know that? Ah, I am telling you. In fact, yet if, if I. In fact, we don't even mention such things because, in fact, this this also bowed down in in um, in in kind of person anybody is. Mm. She is a total repentant woman. After that incident, she accepted wow. her call and decided to follow God strictly. All right, Victor. You know, Victor said she repent. She's a total repentant woman and decided to go follow God strictly. And you know. I, I'm I'm looking at that comment and I'm wondering how we are often more religious than the people that wrote the actual Bible. Do you know that the Bible supports widows remarrying? Check out the book of Ruth. And hey now, Ruth was a widow. She had married Naomi's son. But Naomi's son died. And Ruth was so dedicated to her late husband that she decided to live with his mother Naomi. She told Naomi, wherever you go, I go. So Ruth left her native land, followed her mother-in-law to her own country. And while she was there, she met a man named Boaz. And do you know who even encouraged her to marry Boaz, her late husband's mother? So she remarried Boaz and they became the ancestors of King David. And eventually, Joseph. The, early fa the earthly father of Jesus. Yes. So even God blessed the remarriage of that widow by making her an, an, an ancestor of Christ. And Ruth is not the only widow getting married in the Bible. After all, Abigail married David after God killed her husband. So for Victor, who said, oh, she's now repentant, she's now, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Lagos. Let's listen to Victoria. She also called on Monday. I wanted to hear the very different opinions that um, people shared and let that inform your own opinion, right? Victoria is all, was on the line on Monday. Here's what she said. Grandma Victoria. Yes, welcome. Yes, I'm listening to your program. Mm -hmm. It's an interested program. We are talking of... Uh, uh, remarrying. Remarrying. Widows, remarrying. Widows. Mm -hmm. Yes. I had somebody saying... In their family, it does not happen. Mm. What about if uh, he married mm. and she, the child, the woman just got a, a just one baby, mm. then she passed on, then he will remain like that for life. That mm. is one question. Okay. Now, the second one: if a, somebody, a human being, mm. we need somebody to talk to. Mm -hmm. So you can't, it's not everything you will relate to your children. It's not everything you tell your children. You need somebody, even children of these days, they don't even have your time. Mm -hmm. 
They have, they don't have your time. They mm. go around doing their business. Exactly. They want to work. They want to make their money. They don't have your time. Exactly. So what you do is if there is a responsible family, let them get somebody to accompany that woman or that man so that he will, he will not die young. Because if you don't have anybody to talk to, at times they are indoors, mm. it is a problem. You start thinking, you carry radio, you earn transition, you have a problem, you want to discuss. It's not all that is love making. But important thing. Mm -hmm. Even about your children, sometimes, to sometimes you even want to talk about your children. And you yeah. want to talk about your children with somebody who can understand it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do, do you talk to somebody? That you just need it, that person in the church. You now start to come. I want to discuss with you. No, the problem, uh, the reality of it is this. Mm. We look at it this way. Mm. We pray over it. Mm -hmm. If even though you want to remarry, mm. you should not mar remarry a wrong person. Of course. You should remarry his, her friend or his friend. Mm -hmm. Because this thing is about friendship. That's right. If even though you are married and you are not fr you are not friends, the marriage the marriage will not go well. Mm -hmm. You see yourself as friends, you see yourself as husband and wife, mm -hmm. you see yourself very close relationship. The, uh, the relationship is so deep and close, mm. and it will stand. So somebody will die very young. Then she, maybe at the age of 35 or 30, she just had one baby. She will remain like that for life. Is it easy? Let the other people, I'm asking other people, let them talk, uh, let them let contribute, contribute to this question. You know, it's easy for one to just remain like that for life. He has gone, even that person will not need long again. You, is that person a leha? <laughs> that we just stay in the house, stay and lock her up for his thinking and thinking and she, she will die or he will die. We have so many widows, widowers these days. They are, they are, in fact, some people are not even widowers. What they do, they are not widowers. Their wife will leave them and go and take care of babies in abroad. Then you will see an old man, all group, almost 80, going to market. In the Bible, it does not happen like that. I'm a woman. Hmm. In the Bible, when Abraham married Sarah, at a point, when even Sarah died, he said, pick another woman. Mm -hmm. So that to help him in the house, mm. to even give him joy. Thank you. God bless you. And that was Victoria, 0700-993-993-993-0700-993-993-993. I want to hear your thoughts. And I'm going to give you two minutes to make them because I'm sure a lot of people in Lagos want to call into the show today. So let's uh, try and get as many comments as possible. 0700-993-993-993. Two minutes, that's all you get. We've got Christopher in Banana Island. Hello, Christopher. Hey, President Sandra. Good to have you on the show. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I want to thank the grandma that just speaks now. Sandra, I'm in that. I'm going through that. Hmm. September, this year will make it six years I lost my wife. It's not easy. Just like grandma said, not quite long, I started sitting in my sitting room. Her picture is all over the place. Nobody to talk to. My discussion with my children is different from my and my wife. That is why you see me. I decided to go on with um, Nigeria Info during Alibaba. They really see me through. Because nobody to discuss with. They give me joy. When I discuss with you, for President Sandra, is it a joy? Is it, oh, Chief Codre in the morning. So that is what they see uh, initially, what the thing happened? I want to go into the other one, you know, to do that stupid thing. But I said, no. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I said, what do I do? I turned the radio. And today, look at where I am. A friend of mine lost the wife just much. You know what the man was telling me? Wow. Ah, Chris, I need to remarry you. If I don't marry you, I will die you. I said, you're only just three or four months. Me, six years. The man was telling me, you need to remarry in time. If not, he will die. For me, I live a very, oh, my wife, uh, you know, some, we have home builder and uh, home breaker. Mm. My wife belongs to home builder. So that's why I'm finding it difficult to go back into that. But I know, like the grandma said, I won't remain like this. 
2017, I went home with my daughter. Mm. My mother-in-law called me, my picking, you've tried. You need to get somebody you talk to. When you come back from work, we prepare food, welcome you. So for those who are saying, oh, the woman, oh, the man, no. I wear the shoe, I know where it pinches me. Something is cooking. I can't remember like this. It's not easy. A friend of mine, the wife died. The second month, the guy married. He said, Fanny, what are you doing? Oh, the girl, the husband died. Is that an excuse? But for me, six years now, I know I will go back to that line, but I need to take my time. I will look for my friend to marry as a wife. All right, Christopher, thank you so much for calling to share your story. Because you're sharing a personal story, that's why I gave you extra two minutes. But I'm going back to my uh, time. Two minutes for everyone. Kendi, hello, are you still there? Hey, Sandra. Hi. Good afternoon, President Sandra. Good afternoon. <laughs> Sandra is fine. <laughs> yes. Welcome, go okay, ahead. Okay, so, okay. Um, like I uh, gave my opinion on Monday, mm. I, would, I would like to el elaborate for that. First ah, of all, now, you call so, on Monday, what to call it again? I just played your voice, you are, you're calling me again. You played you my voice? Eh, oh, now. I know. Eh, eh, I, I, so, play, I played your, I your voice, so let me give you 30 seconds, you know, just because you're already calling, okay, you've okay, waited. Okay, quickly, quickly uh -huh, then. Uh -huh. All right, no problem. Nobody owns anybody. For no son or daughter owns their parents or their dad. Or their, oh, okay, what if people that, people that work out on their families you know, during the marriage, work out in your family, work out on fathers with two children, or fathers work out on your wife with two, three kids, and walk away, and it never bodies ever sees them again. Those are supposed to remain single. The most important thing is the happiness of your family. Your parents deserve to be happy too. I think it's a selfish thing for anyone to say that parents or their fathers or their mother shouldn't get married because they have them. I mean, so we should be to ensure the happiness of our parents. If our parents are happy, it's a good thing. Nobody All right, Kendi, thank you for calling me. Joseph, hello. Hey, am I speaking with Sandra? Yes, you're live on with Sandra. Turn your radio off. You've got two minutes. Go. Okay. I just want to uh, contribute. Yes, of course. Um, Go ahead. The woman, the woman who spoke, I think she spoke very well. Okay. It is, it is true that uh, widows will get married. Mm. But it is only for the younger widows, because the older ones are, are supposed to take care of the women and their children. Mm -hmm. But it is even stated in the Bible that uh, marriage is honorable, which is in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. And that it is even stated again that, that the younger widows, they, they should get married. Because if you if if you if you're a widow of thirty, forty and you, you are not you are you are not married, what are you what are you going to do in life? And it is if anybody is saying that uh, his mother but that person at, at that time will not be having that that uh, strength to speak for his for his mother. All right, thank you. Let's leave it at that. Remember, I'm giving everyone two minutes to do their bidding. We've got more calls coming your way, WhatsApp messages, Facebook posts, all of them right here on Hard Facts. This is the Glass Ceiling, the glass ceiling. on Hard Facts. Hard facts.
It's okay. That is okay. It's Let okay. Me no, it's okay. Let me explain. It's okay. Now. It's okay. Uh, she, she, Off the mic. Over the mic. On 99.3 Nigeria Info, your mic is always on. Let's talk. This is the glass ceiling on hard facts. 99.3 Nigeria Info, 29 minutes past four. I am Sandra Ezekwesili. Would you want your widowed mother to remarry? Isaac Ikoko says, Sandra, this is a personal decision for the victim in question. If she desires to remarry for reasons best known, then it's her choice. If no remarriage, then it's her option. Then she needs not to be perturbed in acting against her choice. All right. We've got Olua Femi Olua Dara Dada who says, The younger widow can get married, but is it not selfish for older widows that are dependent to bring a new relationship that comes with its attending challenges to the children who are not established yet? If older widows can afford remarriage, then it's okay. All right, that's for Twitter. We've got more messages coming in via Twitter. And um, a youngest farmer says, I will not only support her, I'll make sure she's happy again with the new stepfather. Everyone deserves to be happy, my mother inclusive. I wonder if Edwin in Festuck agrees. Hello, Edwin. Edwin, hello. Hello. Thanks for calling. Hello. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, Edwin. Would you would you support your widowed mother to remarry? Yeah, uh, in my own uh, opinion, I just want to let everybody know that it's a personal decision. Mm -hmm. uh, once uh, a, a widow decides to remarry, it's not a bad thing. But once you cannot contend, even biblically, it is allowed. But if you don't decide this and leave, especially where Bible is talking in the book of First Timothy chapter five, mm. it was emphatically talking about widows that have the desire to marry. Mm. If you have the desire to marry, where well, you cannot stand on uh, stand the challenges, of, of course you can stay. But if you cannot, you can remarry. Nobody should, uh, uh, you should not marry. The truth of the matter is that it is one's decision to marry or not to marry. That's my submission. All right. Thank you for calling to make it very short. Joshua is in Ejegun. Hello, Joshua. Joshua? Joshua isn't there anymore. You know, I want to expand this conversation a bit and I want to ask us why there seems to be a double standard, right? Like I said before, most of the time when a man's wife dies, people expect him to remarry. And even if they don't expect it, they accept it. Sometimes, even before a man has buried his wife, his relatives have started bringing women from the village for him. Once a few months or years have passed, people will start asking him, uh-uh, you're not going to remarry. Uh-uh, won't you bring a woman to help you take care of those children? In fact, some men complain that the pressure is too much. You heard what Chris said when he called into the show. I remember when Pastor Kumi, uh, W.F. Kumi's wife, passed away. And in his very first interview after her death, the journalist asked him, will you remarry? And he said, I don't know how you expect me to answer such a question right now. So you see, with men, we even rush them to remarry when they're not ready. We do it with insensitivity, Seth, because it's just expected. But with women, ah, even 10 years later, we're not telling her to remarry you. And if she says she wants to, people start to fight her, including her children. I'll give you some examples. Remember I said on Monday that I talked about this on Twitter before I brought it on air. So I'll give you some examples of the people that tweeted at me and what they said. Why do we see marriage, remarriage differently for widows than for widowers? What is it about a woman remarrying after her husband dies that triggers us more than a man remarrying after his wife dies? By the way, Pastor Kumi has remarried. He remarried the year after his first wife died. And I don't think anybody is saying that he has disrespected his first wife. Because he hasn't. Why is it different for women? 
What do you think are the reasons for these very different standards for widows and widowers? Abednego, are you still there? Yes. Good hey. afternoon, Sandra. Good afternoon. Thanks for calling. Thank you. Um, first, I think I like um, the angle you are coming from. Hmm. It's beautiful because a lot of things have been um, outlined. And I think one of the major things is men are being rushed. You know, it's just the same way when a guy, for instance, now, your mates are drinking mm. and they're like, you're not going to join us. But if you see that same woman going to the club now and drinking her life out, you'll be like, woman, you're not being ashamed. For me, I don't see anything wrong if um, a woman ever chooses to remarry. Mm. But here's the thing, mm -hmm. if I'm your child, mm. make sure she say you pick the right man. Because I'm not going to take a person call me by 2 and they tell me, say, he beat me. We'll get problem. Mm. That's number one. Mm. Number two, if I never they make plenty dough, make sure they come with the money. Mm -hmm. Because I know if they provide for 6 to 12, may it come with 6 to 6. Problem, go day. Then number three, make sure that you are sure of what you are going into. If you are marrying your friend, fine. If you are marrying just anybody, I do not know either. Because I've seen situations whereby, oh, they just want to marry, make them not talk, say them not marry. This one, not worry yourself. I know people, I know just they talk. Hmm. So you have to know these things, not take your own inconvenience, the children. If they are not going to disturb you, just know that if you are going into it, you are carrying the cross by yourself. That's what I feel, basically. Okay. Good afternoon, Abednego. Thanks for calling to share it. We've got Oshari on the line. Oshari is in Ikorodu. Hello, Oshari. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. This issue where we are discussing this evening, mm. this afternoon, mm. is a very sensitive issue. Mm -hmm. It's in my sense. If a man loves his wife, if he loves the woman, loves the wife very well, he can stay any years he likes. Mm. Before he can remarry. Person like me, when I'm talking to you, I lost my wife in 2014. I just make up my mind that I will not remarry. But the children, they have grown up enough. Mm. They told me that one day they will finish school, they will go to their own. Mm -hmm. I should try to remarry to see that they will stay with that woman, to take that woman as a stepmother, mm. for them to feel live together before they go their own. When I raised this issue, look at everything, I told them that, well, the thing is so difficult for me because who I'm bring, I don't know his character. Mm. But I talk to God, I pray over it. I've remarried last year. Congratulations. But I'm happy about that. It's very sensitive. It's a very something, it's not what to happen to every woman, be even both man and woman. Hmm. They should hold before one to leave each other. But if the thing is so fresh and young, hmm. it's, a diff it's a very difficult issue. Hmm. Thank you very much for this topic. Thank Lovely. you, Oshari, for, for calling and sharing your personal story. I appreciate it. James Grant Boko says, We compelled my eldest sister to remarry three years after her husband's death with two kids to feed. We knew she needed companionship. Uh, Grant Waneri says, Marriage is still death. Do them paths. If a do them part, I think you meant to write. If a widow or widower wishes to remarry, then so be it. Pascal is in Suru Larry. Hello, Pascal. Hello, good, good, good evening. Man. Good evening. Good, good to have you on the show, sir. Uh, yes, for what you are saying here uh, mm. about for a widower to remarry. To remarry. You know, men, men are the owner of land, but women, they are not owner of land, they are owner of home. Can you hear me? I am trying to understand what you're saying. Uh, hello? I am hearing you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes. What I'm saying this is that, you know, men face so many challenges. Well, if women can face the challenges men face, yes, they can go ahead. You know, what, 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 to, kind, what, what, kind, what kind of challenge do, do men face with marriage that women don't face? The challenge to, to remarry with women, you know, as in, for a young uh, widower to remarry, mm, eh? mm. yes, for her, at least there is suspicion for her. 
There's suspicion. What yes, do you mean sir. suspicion? Yes, yeah, sus- suspicion from the family. Mm. Family background, whether she's the one that killed the husband. Mm. You understand? Mm. But uh, her elderly woman, you know, another challenge is that, you know, in the land, you understand? Mm-hmm. Uh, they may say, okay, where is your own land? Where is your own home? Because if, you, if, if, she, if she marry another man mm. and get uh, uh, got charged to the, normal, to the man, hello? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Got charged to the man, you know? And beside this, she has another children from another man. Mm. You know, it's a very big challenge for her to face. How, how is it a big challenge? A big challenge for her as a man, eh, mm. the home, this, the home itself, as, as I told you, the man is the owner of the land. You know, the land itself knows that, you know, this man, you know, sees his portion, take this one. But woman, as a home, you don't have a land, you know, they will not tell you where is the portion, you know, you go and keep this one to take care of themselves. So that is a complicated issue for her. I, I own I land. Say. Pascal, I own land. I own several lands. Come again, sir. I own land. I'm a woman and I own land. My husband owns land as well. So I'm trying to I'm still trying to understand the point you're making with this own land point. <laughs> the own land you know is a traditional thing. It depends the area. I'm a from. traditional woman, Echi me chichi, and I own land. So what are we talking about? Okay, you own land. I okay. own land. Let's, let's, let's say you own a land. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay, then you now got a two children. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You have, maybe you have two land now. If you have one land, it's a problem. But if you have two land, it's not a problem. If I have one land, I can share it between my two children now. You say what? Can't I share one land between two children? Okay. You can go. I just want to, you know, bring my own. Thing. You can go ahead. If you want to face the challenges, no problem. Interesting. Pascal, thank you for calling. That's a conversation we're going to expand upon. Maybe next Wednesday. Juliet, hello. Hello, Sandra. Thanks thank for you. calling. I'm <laughs> trying to reach you. Good to have yeah, you on the show. I am a widow, and um, <clears throat> I've been in this issue now for the past 15 years. Hmm. I lost my husband when I was 33. Wow. I'm sorry. And um, I have a son who is 19 years now. Okay. My son, because he's the only one, of course, he needs siblings and everything. Mm-hmm. He's been telling me, Mommy, I want you to remarry. Aww. I want you to remarry. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. But I don't understand why people will call and then they, they treat widows as if, you know, their own situation is worse than anybody's. Own. If a widower can remarry, somebody like Kumuji, the wife died and he remarried. I don't even know if it, if it was up to one year hmm. before he got married. I don't know why it's a problem for widows to remarry. Well, the last caller said it's something to do with land and it's complicated. I don't, I, I, I don't, I was trying understand. to understand what he was saying, but I, I couldn't really understand what he was saying. I don't understand because they're they just talking out of their own selfishness because they are not the, the person wearing these shoes. You understand? They mm-hmm. are not in the widow's shoes or widower's shoes. That is why they can call here and then they say all sorts of things. Hmm. But, 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 but in, 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 the, in the 15 years that you've been a widow, have you, have you brought up the subject of remarrying? You know, before your, before your son said, Mom, you have to do it. Have you brought up the subject no, before? No, on his own. On his own. Hmm. You understand? When hmm. he was much younger. Okay. Honestly, my younger sister gave birth and then we went to visit my younger sister. Okay. And then when he saw the baby, he was like, Mommy, when am I going to have my own siblings? Aww. You understand? From time to time, he brings it up and all that. Okay. It's not that I've not tried, but even the men themselves, most of them, they don't want responsibilities. You mm. understand? Mm. I am not a, respond- a liability to anybody. Mm. I am working. You understand? Mm-hmm. Even the man that came my way mm. was like, you have to hide the identity of your child. <laughs> For what? I, I I don't I don't I don't want to tell my people that you have it. I said I don't understand what you mean. You're not ready to marry, Jebe. Go away. Bye bye. Thank you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and that's what I told him. I said, please, I am not ready for this relation. Please go back to your people and tell them to bring one village girl, you know, <laughs> to you because you're not ready to remarry. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So I left that. Uh, so, and the most annoying part of it is that you see people, even your age mates, telling you, oh, God will take care of you. Oh, uh, just stay for this baby. Oh, because they are not 
in, in, your in shoes. there. Yeah. One thing, one thing I miss most is just that companionship. Mm -hmm. You have nobody to talk to. They are saying go to the church. I've been going to the church for the past 50, um, 15 years that my husband died. It's not everything that you tell members of your church. Yeah. What are they going to do for you? Yeah. You know? It's so selfish. You know, people calling and saying, eh, let her go to the church, eh, let her to, uh, talk to the children. I don't get it. I Honestly. Don't, I don't get it. So myself. if a widow should marry, uh, remarry, mm -hmm. why is it that a, uh, a widow cannot remarry? If you find somebody, a soulmate, somebody who can be your companion. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand why the person cannot go. Even the Bible said it. The young widows, that they should remarry. So what is the problem there? Mm. Juliet, I appreciate honestly, you I calling get... to share your story with me. I honestly appreciate it. Do you think it's something that you're, you're still going to do? Have you decided to go ahead and try to remarry? Yes. Honestly, if it, initially, because I was heartbroken, mm. you understand, yes. because that marriage lasted just for four years. Oh, and my sorry. husband died when I traveled out. You I'm understand? So I was heartbroken. I didn't want anybody to tell me anything about marriage mm. and all that. But now... I can see the need for a companion in my life. And you don't even need to you marry understand. the person, self. You guys can just be dating, self, for as long as you want. You don't need to actually have, even go ahead and marry. Just, you know, have a boyfriend that is nice. <laughs> I can't <laughs> have a boyfriend because of my belief. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, thank you for calling me to share your thoughts. Thank you, I appreciate Sandra. it. Thank you so much. We've got um, Prince who says, My mother remarried two weeks after my wedding. We both planned our marriages together. It was the best thing that happened to her and to us because it brought her back to life. She became renewed and reinvigorated. Every person has emotional challenge that only a companion, either a husband or a wife, can truly and actually feel. My mother would have been looking so old and unkempt if not for her remarrying. This is not for lack of money or adequate care by her children, but emotional trauma. I can report to you that we are a big and very happy family of nine. Five children from my mom and four from my stepfather. Oh, Prince. I'm so glad to read this story. This is beautiful. Hello, Sandra. Uh, how dare you to look into your father or your mother's eyes and tell her not to get married to another man or woman after one of them passed away? It's an abomination. All right, Abolore. Abolore, thanks for sending your message. Zinne says, it all, boils, it all boils down to one question. Why is it that a woman is, not, is at the receiving end when it comes to issues like this? Why is it that the women must be sacrificial lambs in all of this? We've got another message here. Solomon in Agege says, I don't know why somebody will decide whether the widowed sh uh, widower should with the widowed should be married or not. It doesn't matter the age or how long the person has been widowed. It all depends on the person, irrespective of their gender. As for the gender, I think it is the way the culture has, it, has depicted women. Imagine in a tribe in Nigeria when a woman's husband dies, they make her go through some traumatic experiences with the view that if she scales through, she's innocent of the death of her husband. Speaking of, we're going to talk about some of these things that widows go through in Nigeria next week, Wednesday at 4. Make sure you're tuned in for that conversation. In those days... The woman was given to a relation to marry, even the man's brother. This way, the woman and children are taken care of. It still happens. Uh, it, it still happens rarely, but it's it's fading away because of modernity. Samson Ochonogo says, "Yeah, Samson, but you you see how that tradition took away from the woman her power to choose." So the, even the Bible even had some um, verses about that. Oh, the brother should marry the brother's wife. Like, what if I don't like you? What if the brother's wife looks like a toad and I don't want to look at your face when I wake up in the morning, but I have to marry you because tradition. See how we took away from the woman the right to choose. But if a man's wife died, he can go and find a nice young pemperempe girl, you know, celeste baby girl, and marry her. Nobody is forcing uh, him to marry his sister's wife. You understand? You see what's happening? It's crazy. Good day, Sandra. That man who spoke about him being cross with his mother getting married is selfish. Most of these children just want a mother to serve them. 
and continue being their nanny to their own children who may not even give a damn about the old woman except their grandmother is financially dependent. She's the one who should decide if she wants to marry or not. If she's younger and there's a man who's generally ready for her and her children, she should remarry and avoid sleeping around. But if she's old, I will suggest that she be content with taking care of herself and her family, Mayawa says. But why are we putting an age gap to it? We have 80-year-old men who are marrying women in, the, in their 20s, in their 30s. And people just say, hey, nah, this man, like this man, like but that thing. But for women, we say, ah, no, 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 we can't do that. In fact, we even insult the young woman who marries the old man. Say, this one is a gold digger. This one doesn't know how to go and look for young men. The women always, you know, get the short end of the stick. Why? I told you a story on Monday about this uh, old couple, very old, 70, 71 and 72-year-old couple who their children left them in a nursing home and they found each other and they fell in love. 71 and 72, old man and old woman. And so they would sit down, they would talk, they would gist, they would hold hands and be like school children all over again. So I don't think that this is one of those things that age should determine to be very honest with you i think this is one of those things that you know if you want to do it fine there's no rush there's no pressure if you're ready to do it fine there are people who when their partners die they they truly do not move on some of them die immediately after their, their partners die and some of them just want to live and not you know have anything to do with any other man or woman there are people like that. They have such a, a soul tie with the person that passes on, they refuse to move on. So I think at the end of the day, we shouldn't have an opinion one way or the other. Now, we can have a conversation about whether, oh, some, some, pe some people will marry and the woman they marry maltreats the children from the previous marriage or the man they marry maltreats the children from the previous marriage. But that one is a separate conversation entirely. That one is a separate conversation from should the person who loses a husband or a wife remarry? Should we remove the expectation, especially on women, to not remarry? That's the, that's the big question. That's the big conversation. From the angle of a pastor, marriage is about three essential things in life. The very first and most important is companionship. Two, sexual libido. Three, childbearing. With these points, pastors advise every young widow who is still within the ages of active life to remarry. It again has to do with individual person's capacity to stay without a man. Uh, that's a message from Pastor Olada. Well, Pastor, thank you for sending your message in. Sandra, for me... I think it is right to remarry. I think the right to, to remarry should be at the partner's discretion. Nobody ought to hinder or force anybody uh, f from or to remarry. It should be the individual's decision. You know, la when I brought up this conversation online on Twitter, I got a few interesting uh, messages from men who had a change of heart. These are men who first opposed the idea of their mother remarrying but now they regret it one of them said quote my mom was going to remarry i never bought the idea i was so against it i stopped talking to her whenever the man comes around she had to stop seeing him because of me now i watch her aged and lonely i was young stupid i wish i could change things Another one said, Momsi asked me when I was younger, like in just one, and I was so against it. We started talking about it again last year, and by this time, I realized I was just being a selfish child. I really hope that she meets someone. So you have these two guys saying that they opposed their mothers remarrying when they were younger. But now, as they're seeing their mothers getting old and facing life alone, they wish they had let them remarry. And it got me thinking, if more people were thinking about the future, do you think they would support their mothers, their widowed mothers remarrying? Especially men. Because remember, in our society, it's usually daughters who take care of their older parents, not sons. I know some sons take care of their older parents, but it's usually daughters. So when a mother is alone in old age, she usually doesn't become the responsibility of the son. Or he's not even in a position to take care of her. Maybe he marries somebody that doesn't want to deal with extended family. Any number of things. 
Maybe he doesn't even want to deal with extended family. So if he remembers this 10 or 20 years ahead of time, do you think that people who are saying women should not remarry will continue to say they should not remarry? Or do you think they'll say, get yourself a companion, somebody you'll get old with, somebody you'll grow old with? Do you think they'll go for that? That's why we're having these conversations, so that we can think about things that we've not thought about before. That's what Nigeria Info does. That's what Hard Facts does. Let me take one final call on the show, 700 993 993-993-0700-993-993-993. We've got um, uh, comments on Facebook, but um, I will take a final thought um, from the phone lines. Hello. 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 99.3. Hello. Yeah, hello, Sandra. What's your Good name, evening. sir? Good evening. <coughs> Sorry, my name is Maximus. I'm calling from Yaba. Good to have you on the show, Maximus. I've got two minutes to give you. Okay. Sorry. Um, the truth there is that the, the odd is against the women. Hmm. Um, it's, it's in every culture, but over time, the Europeans have actually gotten over it and they've adjusted towards the better improvement than the Africans. But hmm. over time, also, we'll get over it. Hmm. The most important question is that you ask the person, if you were to be the person in question, would you like to remarry or remain single? They would want to. That's a good so question. So most time when we are not in that position. And again, also, the world, somehow, all the culture and all the religion was, has actually was designed to actually disfavor the women. But over time, also, improvement is coming. Have you also wondered why is it that contraceptive is meant for women alone, hmm. not for the men who are not ready to either have a child mm -hmm. or not ready also to bring down their, their women. But mm -hmm. most time, they force women to take contraceptive and even when they are not in position to take it, even when they want a child or when they don't want it, you understand? Mm -hmm. so somehow, like, everywhere all over the society, the odds are against women, but gradually, we'll get over We will it. shatter the glass ceiling, huh? <laughs> yeah. thanks for calling me Maximus I appreciate it and thank you to everybody who's contributed to the show today you've been amazing 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 we're going to talk some more about widows next Friday I want to take a deeper look at some of the things that they face some of the challenges that they face uh, that, that thing that that guy called Paul that thing he said about land and he said about property they ring for my head. They ring for my head. So I want to I want to expand the conversation. Next week, Wednesday, 4 o'clock. How about you tune in and let's talk about it, shall we? Oh, and don't forget, The Glass Ceiling is available as a podcast. Mm -hmm. So just search for The Glass Ceiling uh, with Sandra Ezekwesele. You can do a simple Google search. The Glass Ceiling with Sandra Ezekwesele. It will pop right up. And you can listen to this episode again if you missed it or if you just joined us right now. You can also listen to the entire show, Hard Facts, uh, with Sandra Ezekwesele. It's available as a podcast as well. Search your favorite um, podcast streaming service and go ahead and listen. We have a special report about interstate travel. Let's talk about how easy or difficult it's been to travel into state. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. Let me explain. It's okay. Now. It's okay. Uh, she, 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 off the mic. Oh, yeah. what do you sound? On 99.3 Nigeria Info, your mic is always on. Let's talk.